It's science time, yeah. It's science time, yeah. It's science time, it's hot, don't stop. It rocks, we never get enough. The world keeps on turning non-stop. Filled with cool stuff from the bottom to the top. One thing you know and you'll finally see that science... <laughs> hey everybody, it is Mr. C, and I thought it would be a lot of fun if we decided to make some slime or flubber or gack. It doesn't really matter what you call it, but what we know afterwards is it's lots of fun, because learning should be fun for everyone. Alright, here we go. So what we're going to do first is, um, I just got back from the store, I bought some borax. I have an empty jar here with some water in it, because we're going to use that to create a super saturated solution uh, for our borax mixture. And um, we've got Elmer's glue here, and we have some food coloring green, and then I have this neon green um, gel. I have this neon green gel food coloring that I bought, so we'll give that a whirl, we'll split up our... Um, stuff to see how that goes. I have a spoon for mixing, I've got a little container to do all the magic in. Uh, so let's get started. First and foremost, what we have to do is we're going to create some, we're going to create a solution. So I've got water here and because my goal is to super saturate it so that it has as much um, of a mixture as possible with the borax. I'm just going to pour some in. So what we're doing here is we are going to mix this up until the solution can't hold any more borax and we'll know that because it'll start um, settling in on the bottom. So we're going to keep doing that until we get a good solution. What's nice by doing it in a jar Alright, let's see what we got going here. Alright, so you can you might be able to see it, but I've got some solution settling in on the bottom, and that's okay. Because what we're gonna do is when we pour this out into our mixture, we're only going to pour the dissolved portion. So I'm gonna shake that up just a little bit more. set that to the side. Alright, then what we have here is container. And I'm going to take the Elmer's glue and I'm going to pour the entire Elmer's glue container in that. Now my wife does not know that I'm using one of our better plastic storage containers. That's okay because it'll be worth it once we get this all done. It's science time, yeah. It's science time. It's hot, don't stop. It rocks. We never get enough. The world keeps on turning non-stop. Filled with cool stuff from the bottom to the top. Learning new facts about the universe and how the earth rotates on its course. Have our glue in there. And then I have a cup of water. That I'm going to pour in here as well. Actually, I'm going to do about three quarters. I'm going to leave a little of the water out. We can always add more water if we need to. And then I'm going to go ahead, stir this up. Now, once this is stirred up really well, some people like to actually put the food coloring in here or the gel. I'm going to wait. I'm going to make mine white first. And then I'm going to break it apart and I'm going to actually try to use the gel and the green food coloring to see which one works better and how it works. Alright, I think it's pretty good. Looks like milk. It's a good consistency. Don't drink this. Please do not drink this. Alright. 
Let's zoom back out of here. All right, so now, oh, here you can see it. You can see all the extra borax in the bottom of that because it is super saturated. All right, so what we're going to do now, and look, this is an old spaghetti sauce. It's a classico. Look, I'm going to make an Italian flubber. It's going to be an Italian flubber. So I'm going to pour it in. And you can already see it doing its thing. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to get my hands in there. So it's still pretty slimy. I'm going to add some more of my solution. Very nasty. Lots of fun. Very slimy. Lots of liquid going on. So I'm going to plop that in there just for a second. I'm going to bring another container over here. Throw that in there. And already you can see that it is a good consistency. A little slimy. Let's zoom in on that. It's not too bad. Got a little bit of slime going on. Alright, so what we're going to do now... Oh yeah, there you go. Once you work it in a little bit. It is awesome! Look at that. Oh, that is sweet slime. Alright, let's back out of that a little bit. Yeah, that's awesome. So you got to work it just a little bit, and it is just... That is a great consistency. And you can stretch it. Alright, so I'm going to go grab another container really quick. So I can split that up. Alright, so I've got my two containers, and that is a beautiful slimy consistency. I'm going to split it into half, throw that over there, because I want to save that. I might not even make it a color. So we're going to try this gel. Now here's the typical food coloring you can use. Um, they sell this in neon colors as well now. I didn't have any with me and I bought the gel because that's all the store had when I was there. So I'm going to just take a drop of the neon green gel and see what it does with our slime. I'm hoping it turns out. I've never done this so we're going to just one teensy little bit. And anytime you use any sort of food coloring, obviously. Oh, that is sweet. Look at that. That is a sweet, sweet color. Alright, so I need a little bit more. Like I was saying, anytime you're using food coloring or, in this case, a gel, you don't want to get it on your clothes and stuff because it could stain it. As you can see, my hands are turning a very pretty green. And your mommy and daddy might not want you to have green slime in the house, and if that's the case, you probably want to keep it white, because the white isn't going to stain anything if it gets on it. So it's a little bit dry, so I'm going to add just a hair, just a teeny tiny bit of water. I mean just... 
here we go. Feed the slime. It's like guts. It's awesome. Look at that. So there you go. That, there you have it. You've got some green slime. Took what less than five minutes to make this. Maybe a little bit longer than that. But it'll you can play with this over and over and over and over again. And uh, it's actually a really great consistency. And you can have some fun with this. Mess with your little sister, and you could blow your nose and. Oh, that was nasty. So, lots of fun. You can add more food coloring if you want to try to make it a brighter, more vibrant green. I like it the way it is. It's actually coming off of my fingers fairly well. So I'm not too worried about that. I'll get my hands washed. But most importantly, this stuff, you don't want to keep it around your house and you don't want it sitting on stuff. So you don't want to like plop it down here if this was your kitchen table and just leave it there because what it's going to do is... It does have food coloring in it, so it could stain things. So be kind to your mom, to your dad, to your family, to your pets. Don't leave this sitting around. Instead, if you want to keep it so you can use it for a long time, grab a Ziploc bag. And you can put it in a Ziploc bag, and it's going to hold for a long time. So pretty simple right um, lots of fun give it a whirl post comments below let me know how it works um, I know it's a little different than what other folks have been doing in terms of using a recipe but it's been very successful for me over the years and I thought I'd make a quick video to show everybody how to do it all right hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe and mr. C is out all right so another really cool thing you can do with this as you can see I've changed colors underneath me but um, my daughter goes to like the arcade and she wins these tickets and she always gets these little flubber noisemaker things and it's really cool so um, once you have your flubber or gack all you do is throw it into a little teeny cup and then you push down you pull it out and you can continue making really funny sounds so you can have effects for a video letting it <laughs> so what's really cool is you can actually see the, the air vibrating out as I push it down So not only do you have some really cool flubber after it's made, but now you have this really cool sound making machine. <laughs> that was a really good one. That was the best one I think I've ever made. So, uh, let me know what you think below. Post a comment, like, subscribe. So, really cool stuff. You have to make some of this. You have to make some of this, and you'll have to get it uh, perfect consistency. Remember, if it ever dries out, you can add a little bit of water to get it uh, revitalized, and then you can continue making your fun sounds with it. All right, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Take care. Bye.